Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm going to take this lonely little tree and turn it into not one, but two stunning pieces of art. In under six minutes, using Affinity Photo 2. I'll start with this image of a tree that I created for free at google.gemini.com. I only want the hill and the tree, so I'll remove the background. I'll start by using the pen tool to make a selection of the area behind the hill to the horizon. I'll just make a series of dots and around the area, and then I'll click the word selection in the upper toolbar. Then I'll click delete to get rid of it. I'll do the same for the right side. Okay, next I'll go to the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Threshold. This will turn my image into pure black and white with no greys. I can use the slider at the bottom to get the tree to look just how I want it. There, that looks good. Let me drop the Adjustment layer onto the tree layer to group them together. Then. I'll right-click on the layer and scroll down to Rasterize to make this a single pixel layer. Next, I want the tree to be on a transparent background, so I need to get rid of the black and white background areas behind it. I can get rid of the black areas pretty easily. I'll just use the Erase tool in the left-hand toolbar and paint the black away. To make your brush head bigger, just click the right square bracket key a few times. All right. Now that the black is gone, I need to get rid of the white behind the tree. This is pretty easy too with an all black and white image. I'll just go to Layer, New Live Mask Layer, and then Luminosity Range. I can put an extra node on the line at the top and then pull the right side all the way down. This gets rid of all the bright white pixels, leaving only the black ones. Next, I'll go to Layer in the menu and select New Fill Layer. This will give me an all-white layer that I'll then grab and drop below the tree layer. Then, I'll select both layers, right-click on them and scroll down to select Merge Visible. Okay, now Affinity put the merged image into a layer of its own. I'll just select the original two images and delete them both as I don't need them anymore. Okay, now for the fun part. I made this colourful paint splash image for free with the help of Google's Gemini AI. I'll just go to Edit Copy in the menu and then go to my tree image and go to Edit Paste to place it into a new layer. Then, with the paint layer selected, I'll just go to the Blend Modes drop-down and select Screen. And boom, there you go. In the screen mode, Affinity only shows the color pixels in the areas where the tree layer is black. Easy breezy, but super cool in my opinion. All right, for the second effect, I'm going to go back in time a bit by clicking Command or Control Z a few times to undo all my steps back to the new fill layer. For the first image, I kept the fill layer as white. This time, I'll use the color wheel to change the layer to gray. Then. I'll drop it below the tree layer. Now, I'll select both layers, right-click on them, and scroll down to Merge Visible. Like last time, I'll then keep the merged layer, but delete the original two layers as I don't need them anymore. Next, I'll go to this image of an older man that I got from pixabay.com. Then, I'll copy it and paste it into a new layer on my project. It's a bit bigger than the other image, so I'll just use the corner nodes to resize the old guy to how I want him. Then, I'll go back to the Blend Modes drop down at the top of the Layers panel. Screen Mode and Add Mode are pretty similar. I'll just use the Add Mode for this one. Note that since I used a grey background this time instead of white, you can still see a semi-transparent image of the entire man. The last thing I'm going to do here is rotate the man's face a bit, so that his beard looks like the roots of the tree. I'll just select the man layer and use the handlebar at the top of the selection to rotate him to the left. But after I do this, you can see the edge of the image in the top right corner. So I'll hold the command or control key while dragging the top right node out a bit to grow the image from the center. 
I think that looks amazing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.